In this video, I meal prepped for the week and I cooked four different recipes in a day. Now grab a seat and let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome back. So meal prepping is something that I usually do. What I do not usually do is film it. <laughs> <laughs> but this time around, I wanted to film and show you guys how I prep for the week when I have time. The night before my prep, I take everything out of the freezer that I will be needing and I place it in a bowl and put it in the sink so it can defrost. In my bag, I have some smoked fish and Kobe, which is salted fish. I also have some willy which is cow skin. I have some spinach for my spinach sauce. I also have some fresh red fish, which I plan on frying if I have some time. I have my goat meat, which is already seasoned and cooked. I have some crabs. I have some pork butt. And somewhere in here, I also had some smoked turkey. Okay, let's get to cooking. Um, when I cook, I like to lay out all my pans. I literally bring out the pans I'm going to be cooking with um, because the goal is really to have all the food going in the first 30 minutes. So I am starting off with my contumery stew because that's one of the ones that takes me a little bit of time to make. So in my pan, I've added in some palm nut oil and right in here, I am going to add in my momone as well as my Kobe. So really the difference between these two in my opinion is the Kobe goes through a drying process whereas the cured fish goes through a fermentation process now listen these two ingredients in your contumery or spinach stew or sauce will elevate it to another level if you haven't already, be sure to try this. As many of you already know, we are on a mission to save ourselves some money. Well, at least I am. <laughs> I've always meal prepped, but this year I am making an extra effort to eat at home because it is one way to save yourself some money. Money that you can use to go on vacation, buy things that you actually want for yourself, and more importantly, create a portfolio of investments right because if you have extra money that's when you can do the things you've always dreamt of doing but have never been able to do if you haven't already be sure to check out my last video it is linked somewhere here on the top um, where i share the benefits of eating at home as well as um, another video that shares three breakfast recipes that you can make for yourself and save yourself some money. So comment below, let me know if meal prepping is something that you do in your household. Um, 
I like to do that because it saves me a lot of time during the week. Um, you pretty much have your stews and your sauces and all you have to do is prep your carbs, um, which saves you a lot of time. So I like to do that when I do have time. And so as I mentioned before, I really try to get everything set up, you know, the stews and sauces going on the fire in the first 30 minutes. And then I work on any other sides that I will need, like, you know, some ground tomatoes, ginger, um, onions. I have my candles going, yes, because this lady absolutely dislikes having food in my jacket and clothes no 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 i cannot with that and so when i'm cooking multiple dishes i make sure that i have the air flowing in the kitchen so my windows are opened and yes it does get cold during the winter but i do have to open the windows I turn my candles on, I have all the doors closed, and I have my oil diffuser going sometimes because, you know, when you're cooking with Kobe and Momone and smoked fish, <laughs> you sure don't want to walk into somebody's house or walk into work smelling like you dipped yourself in the soup. <laughs> Yeah, I can't work that way. <laughs> so, so comment below and let me know if you are a ginger lover. I love, love ginger. I have, I make ginger drinks. I love to have ginger in my tomato uh, base sauces. Um, but yeah, I absolutely dislike peeling ginger. <laughs> it takes me forever. I love to buy the ones that are, you know, humongous. Um, but sometimes when I don't get those, I have to get these little ones and peeling them is just painful. So right here, you would notice that I started peeling and I went to sit down a little bit, watched some TV. And that's, that's one way you can you know keep yourself busy when you're cooking you can have some music going you can be listening to you know a book an audio book or just watching a show and it just makes the process a lot more easier easier and enjoyable because you know it gets tiring but when you keep your mind um, on something else it makes the process a lot easier And yes, I had to go back to the ginger. <laughs> and yeah, I could not escape that one. <laughs> Eventually I got it done. So earlier on, I had mentioned that I usually do not film, um, you know, me meal prepping um, and, you know, fellow YouTubers will understand because it does take a lot of time 
to cook and film usually i share one recipe and just filming that will add an extra two hours three hours to your cook time because you're having to position you know your camera in different uh spots and imagine if you're cooking four different recipes like i did here but listen the goal is to motivate and so i wanted to at some point just show what it looks like when i do do um i do do i do do <laughs> when i do multiple dishes in uh the same setting When I do meal prep though, I like to prep some of my proteins ahead of time. So for example, the goat meat, we got the entire goat from a farm. And so when we brought in the goat meat, we prepped it and I cooked half of it and seasoned it. I mean, it was seasoned, cooked and stored. And so in this case, I just bring out a bag, which saves me a lot of time. Imagine having to season your goat meat and then start the cooking process. You would be in the kitchen all day. And I try to cut that in half, um, just anything to make my life a little easier. There are times when I have to, you know, season the goat meat from scratch. And it, it really depends on what um, recipe I'm making but for the most part I try to prep to save myself some time So right here, I am checking in on the items that I brought out of my freezer um, and just making my way through each item. Um, you will notice that as I prep my food, I also wash my dishes. Yes, because this mama does not like dirty dishes in the sink after i am done cooking by the time i am done cooking my feet is burning and i just want to sit on the couch and so i wash as i go it makes my life a lot easier
So I recently um, gained a bunch of new subscribers and I just wanted to say a huge thank you. I hope you like my content enough to stay and spread the word. So right here I am adding in my fried goat meat and yes it's already fried and frozen so it's just a matter of making your tomato based sauce and throwing it in there. I promise you prepping really makes things a lot easier. For anyone who is interested in having directions, step-by-step -step directions on how I make each um, one of these recipes, I believe I have um, videos on these already, so I will ping them below. I do not have a recipe on the contumery, but I do hope this video is um, enough to help you out. If not, definitely leave me a comment and I will be sure to make a video on that for you. And as you can see, I have company at this point, little mama and Jaden are in here with me and you probably see them pop up here and there. <laughs> When I use frozen spinach, I usually will squeeze out the water because I do not want my sauce to be too watery. Um, if I use fresh um, spinach, then it is what it is. But if I use frozen, you will probably always see me squeeze out the water. We are making progress. See what we have in our bowl. I am down to the smoked turkey. And at this point, I probably will not be using that. I was going to make some jollof rice with that. I was going to fry my fish and I was going to make some pork show, which I have a recipe on here for. But I think at this point, I am um, getting tired. And so um, I feel like we have enough to last us for a week or two in terms of like sauces.
I had to take a quick mental break. So I made myself some quick um, meal and just sat down on the couch and enjoyed and then went right back to cooking. So I almost gave up on the wache. Uh, I definitely gave up on the jollof and the pork show, but you know what? I had to push through and at least have one carb in the freezer. So um, yeah, I had to get the wache on the fire, but as you can see, everything else was ready and just cooling down. And then what I will usually do is just dish them up and put some in the freezer and the rest goes in the refrigerator. I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for tuning in be sure to share this video with somebody who might need some motivation um you know just staying home preparing their own food and eating uh let's try to save ourselves some money okay and hey be kind and listen listen to one another because it makes a whole lot of difference be safe out there